time I'm ever going to see it is over a visiting room table. Mum will get this sorted out. How? We've got nothing. We keep going round and round in circles. The mum's really upset. Are you interested? I'm going back to Johnny. It's time to get serious. Hallelujah. I've been waiting to hear that all day. Right. I'm going to go upstairs and get myself spruced up. Phil? Here. Don't you think he said all he's going to say? Are you trying to stop us? No. You've been on at Stacy plenty of times, but Johnny only gets it once. It, it don't make sense. Is there something going on here? But the aim for me to save. Give us a minute, Billy. He doesn't know that Chris is guilty, so why waste our time? I ain't going to see him about Chrissy. He threatened to kill Grant. He had this look on his face, made me think he was serious. I thought you were supposed to be talking about Sam and the pub. How come he ends up threatening Grant? I don't know. You tell me. Uh, he don't like us one little bit, Mum. I, I got a feeling it's down to you. No, this isn't helping Sam. Look, Mum, stop using Sam as an excuse, will you? Now, you're going to tell me what's going on. Two teas, please. Make it quick. We've got a rush on out there. Lucky you. So, how does it feel to be the lightweight champion of Walford? I don't know what's going on with you and the Mitchells, but you know you can talk to me. Don't worry about it. It's nothing I can't handle. At the end, Ruby walked into the Vic and heard everything. She turned her back on her father. And now he blames me for losing his daughter. Well, why didn't you tell me this before? It's a distraction. Getting embroiled in a feud with Johnny Allen is the last thing we need. Well, I can't just let it go. If, if Grant's got something hanging over his head, well, he's got to know about it, hasn't he? No, Phil, it'll get out of hand. I've already got a daughter in prison. I don't want to end up burying you two as well. Would well, you think he's capable of that? I know he is. He wants us all out of his life, and he'll do whatever it takes. We've got to tell Grant. Oh, no, Phil, please, promise me. Sam needs us focused on her. Right, you ready? We ain't going. What are you talking about? Johnny can keep for now. I thought we were going to crack some heads. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. Let's go and crack some heads. Let's get ourselves nicked. Sam will be over the moment, G. Oh, what was your idea a minute ago? So who are you going to hurt then, Johnny? No. Dennis, actually. You got a minute? What for? A little chat. Not scared, are you? Do you mind, gentlemen? Me and Dennis have some sorting out to do. Oh, what's all that about? I don't know. I'm just glad it's contained. Hey, well, go on, go and have a listen. Joking, aren't you? I'm going for a pint. Oi, oi, what about the motor? Yeah, well, the uh, keys are in there, Charlie. You're more than welcome to me. So what exactly are you trying to prove? I'm with you. Well, what's with the moody teenager act? I mean, is there a point to it? Who do you think you are? Oh, I know who I am. Question is, who do you think I am? Some bloke from Sharon's past has turned up to sweep her off her feet. Because if you do, it's all in your head. Not that I'm saying that I couldn't, but Sharon's a mate now. And she deserves better than what she's getting from you. You don't even know me. I know you're an idiot running around breaking her heart and she just carries on loving you. You're speaking from personal experience, are you? You see, the thing about Sharon is she has her limits. Now, they're way beyond your average birds, but they're there. And when she reaches them, well, that's it. There's no coming back. Well, it's lucky I don't have a brother like yours then, isn't it? Did you know that Sharon went to see Sam to protect you? What? We made a deal. She visited Sam, I stayed away from you. So you've got nothing to worry about. So stop sulking and get a grip. Don't tell me what to do. Your old man's dead. The murderer's just about to do a runner. My sister's facing a lifetime in prison. And you're writing in the book he's sulking when you have nothing to be jealous about. I don't have to listen to this. Just wait. 
take your hand off me. It's your call. I have a rule. Never take relationship advice from your wife's exes. The Great Pyramid is the largest... All right. What are you watching? Something about Egyptians. I know how to walk like one. <laughs> We've raked it in today, so we shut the store early. This girl's a demon. I think it's your big mouth that does <laughs> Well, I think we should have a drink to celebrate. You up for it? You are, aren't you? My treat. Yeah. I don't feel like it. I just prefer a night in. Just me and you have a little catch-up. Oh, thanks. And I'll sit in my room on my own, shall I? I didn't mean it like that. I've got to take her out for drinks, Stace. Bring you back a pizza, yeah? See you later, Rocky Slater. <laughs> Right, what are you wearing? I've blue top. Oh, no, I think you're outside better than that. So you managed to keep an eye on him all day and didn't try and get between them? It didn't work. <laughs> Maybe you didn't do it properly. Look, I'm not interested in your chest moves, Johnny. I just want Grant's head split open, that's all. OK, go and do it. Why don't you? That's your idea. And the amateur psychology was your idea. I tried it your way, now you do it mine. My wife is having cosy chats with. You don't have a wife. And neither do you. Look, don't you care that your wife's head's been turned? Hmm? That's your wife. It's got you on a piece of string, Dennis. Playing you like a muppet. Where is she? Falling apart. Didn't have the heart to tell her we haven't got anywhere. Poor thing. How'd you get on with Dennis? He weren't interested. Did you hit him? No. Why not? Because I thought I'd do things properly for once. But you'd make your mind up. Well, at least I'm out there. I've been out there too. Yeah, but now you're sitting in there sulking. What's the matter? I lost your bottle. It ain't a question of bottle. So what, you're twice the size and half the man? You want to put that theory to the test? Oi! Shut it, Billy. No, you shut it! Look, if, if we start turning on each other, right, Sam's got no chance. Now, vote, we go to the pub, show Chrissy and the rest of them that we're still a family and that we ain't given up on Sam yet, OK? Vodka and tonic and I'm reducing two lagers, please. Sorry, what are you doing here? Eh? Just having a quiet drink. No, not a chance. So what are you going to do? Throw me out? Now that I would like to see. Don't just leave it. Just let him stay, all right? Fine. Don't want any trouble. Thank you. A toast, ladies and gentlemen, to Sam's third month inside. On. I'm screwing up my life again. That's what's going on. It's all right. Sharon's the best thing that ever happened to me. And I'm out here being a loser, just like I've always been. You're not a loser. You're more of a... waster. I just want a normal life. And every time I get near to it, something happens. And then I try and make that better, and then I just end up making it worse. I know how you feel. You don't. I do. If you've grown up with Mum... She's mental. All grown-ups are. They have the power and they ain't got a clue. But Johnny's the same with Ruby. Johnny? The way he tries to manipulate her is disgusting. But she's starting to see through it now, and that's why Tina legged it yesterday. Tell me, Stacey. I just can't tell you that you're brave. You're a Slater. You really think she put that kind of burden on Zoe's shoulders? You don't know what you're talking about. Kat didn't put anything on my shoulders, all right? I just stood up and did what was right. Right? For who? Well, no one. I just told him what happened. I told him the truth. And I keep telling him. You're being used. Look, I know what it's like having that kind of burden. It becomes your life. But you've got to let it out sometime, and that time has to be soon. 
I've got to go. I hope you feel better. Chrissy did it, Stacy. Sam's in jail for it. Sharon's on her own. Phil and Grant are on the war path, so he's gone, and we're getting dragged into it. All these people will be released if you just told the truth. There's nothing to say. Fine. You can join my club, then. Stuck in a route that just gets deeper and deeper. Never going forward, never changing. Everyone else around you just getting on with their life. After a while, people won't even notice you anymore. Is that what you want? What's this about me about? No one taking a notice. We're for a quiet drink, remember? What's all that about? Nothing. What's he doing here? Dennis! Dennis. Where do you think you're going? Get out of my way. It's all right, Phil. on our side now. Depends if he does the right thing now. Sharon, don't worry. I'll serve him. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for not believing you. I'm sorry for leaving you in the lurch of being a brat. Life's no good without you. Can I come home? Of course you can. Break up the loving, but we're still no need to get the Sam out. Are we? I've just broken Stacy's alibi. Chrissy's going down. 